Dobrodin. Stravese. And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. Yes, the first week of August. It is. And we've had a quietish week. We have. We've carried on doing bits and pieces, but in general it's been a lot quieter than our previous few weeks. Not the trips out that we've been having. Um, but that's good because we can get on with stuff here. <laughs> we have been shopping twice. We have. Um, that doesn't really count. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So the trips out you don't want. No, but you have to do. But so. we had to go and get Max's wardrobe. Yep, so that's ordered. We've got his rug. Um, we've got another little rug coming for him. Um, <laughs> a blackout blind. For some reason he wants his room as dark as he can get it. Don't understand. And blue, <laughs> as you will yes. see. Um, but yeah, so we did our, our trips for buying the bits for his bedroom. The normal stuff of food and and the like um but yes it's just been another one of those weeks yeah very hot and the worst thing about this week has definitely been flies yes we've had so many flies <laughs> yes i think this must be the national national gathering place for all the flies in bulgaria <laughs> it feels like it they're bussing them in i'm sure they are <laughs> <laughs> We have bought some more door strip curtains, which do seem to be quite effective for about a, a week and a half, and then they seem to learn how to get through them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're sneaky, sneaky these flies. Sneaky. But uh, yes, the heat and the flies combined, um, and also there are certain odours that are associated with puppies, which I think attracts them. Yeah, <laughs> that's not been helpful. So no. we have started letting the puppies out in the front now, so that's helped yeah. a lot. Yes, they're playing in the garden and having a great time. <laughs> well, as you can see here. So clearly they're getting bigger. Um, they'll soon be ready to go off to their new homes. Yeah, I think that the weaning process is coming along, so it's not feeding them so much anymore. No, so as they get bigger and they're eating proper food, um, they're turning into proper little dogs. Yes, <laughs> we've got four really fluffy ones and four straight haired ones. It's quite strange. And if you are in Bulgaria and you are interested in one, get in touch. Yeah. We there are have... still some left. There are some left. <laughs> what we had a visitor we did um we were just standing chatting about puppies basically <laughs> it's all we seem to talk about these days um and there's a whistle at the gate and we had a look and it was the water man um come to read the meter now this has always been a bit of a bit of an adventure um in that will he understand me will i understand him yeah he speaks no english how all. good how good is our miming <laughs> but this time we we managed to kind of communicate 
Um, he came in, I knew what he wanted, I did recognise him in fairness, um, and we had a very short conversation, um, which results in us owing 33 level on our water, which <laughs> is about £15. Pounds. So that's all good. So that's that sorted for another six months, <laughs> or maybe a year. He kind of comes when he feels like it. Yes, <laughs> hey, we weren't expecting him this time of year, he was, I think, April and September last year. Yes, so I think it's just a case, he might come and we've been out, we don't yeah. know. Uh, but they won't come onto the into the garden without us being here. Um, and we had to put Sophia away before he'd come into the garden as well. Yes, he wouldn't come into the garden when any of the dogs were out. Just in case. Which, <laughs> I suppose, is quite wise, really. <laughs> yes, we did try to tell him she was friendly, but he, he didn't seem to appreciate but, that. No, you've got to look after <laughs> yourself, haven't you? So, uh, yes, that was the water visitor. <laughs> and we've got another new occupant close by, haven't we? We seem to have, yes. <laughs> Up on the common has to join the donkey and the horse. <laughs> we now have... We have a bull. A bull. <laughs> now, he does appear to be tethered. To I a haven't, big tree. <laughs> I haven't got too close, I'll, have, I'll be honest. Um, <clears throat> close enough to know he is a bull and not a cow. <laughs> but, uh, yes, we seem to be getting a bit of a menagerie out there. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to come and see Lin Zhu, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> no, it's not my zoo. I, my zoo's the puppies at the minute. Yeah. So, as you know, if you've been watching the last few weeks, we're getting closer to completing Max's bedroom. Yay! <laughs> um, if you remember last week, it was left. We just about finished the ceiling. Um, this week was all about painting. Well, this is it. So we've completed the walls in Max's room. So that's the walls and the ceiling painted leaving the floor and the woodwork. The floor needs to be treated with concrete sealer before we paint it. We have fitted these triple sockets, there are two of them in here, which gives Max six outlets. This corner is where his desk is going, so he needs power for the computer, the monitor and the UPS. The second is near his bed, that will be for charging phones and a bedside lamp. There is also an individual socket for the aircon unit, and that is high up on the wall. First we have to clean and sweep the floor. It needs to be dust free before we can use the stabiliser. So that's the floor sealed. You can see a sheen on the concrete that helps to stick the paint to the floor. Next I need to paint the floor with the concrete paint. I'll be using a brush to make sure everything gets painted properly. That's the floor painted, it's a darker blue than the walls, it'll have a rug in the middle which is a nice silver colour. It's had two coats of paint and according to the instructions it's now dry enough to walk on and hard enough to walk on, so my next job is to fit the skirting board. We're using a plastic skirting board, it wasn't my first choice but uh, it does the job. It comes in two parts, the bottom part you can see there screws onto the wall and then the top part clips into that gap and hides where you put the screws. The other advantage with this is you can also put electrical cables in this space so that you can run cables around the walls and they're not running across the floor or tacked or channeled in um, and you can change it whenever you want to. So we've decided to use these, they're 
they're pretty cheap they don't need painting um, once they're on they're on so that's my next job put the skirting boards on So that's the skirting board in place. I think it's designed for laminate floor or tiles. It does show the bottom where the concrete was a little uneven, but it also tidies up with the edges where the walls meet the floor. And as I said before, we can run cables around the room inside it if we need to. It does the job, so I'm happy. Our final painting job is the woodwork. We're painting the doors and the window frame a gray to match the skirting board and the rug. Once that's done, that's all the painting finished and we'll be ready to move Max in. And that should happen in the coming week. We've just got the woodwork to do, which yep. will be starting today. Yep, and hopefully we'll be moving him in during the course of next week. And yeah. we haven't done the, the aircon. Room. We haven't done the aircon unit yet. No. Um, that'll be a trip out, but uh, we just wanted to get on with work around here this week. So yeah. that's what we did. <laughs> We also did a little bit in the garden. We lifted some potatoes. We got about yes. 10 kilograms up. We were stuff. kind of forced into that to a degree. Um, <laughs> yes. The animals found the potatoes very interesting and started digging them up for us. <laughs> so we finished off the job um, in the beds. Yeah. Um, we've done one actual bed raised of potatoes bed. and two raised beds. One was very good. One was quite disappointing, but we think that was down to a choice of potato. Yeah, and we possibly lifted them too early. I think we may have done. They looked like they died off and ready to lift, but I think they were the long ones that we didn't, the yeah. 20 week ones. So I think we may have pulled those a bit early. Yeah, so we still have two potato beds to go and a raised tower. Um, we'll leave those in for a bit longer to see how they go. But so far, we've doubled our yield of what we planted. So can't really complain. No, and we our, our gardening this year was definitely hampered by the arrival of the dogs in oh, spring. Yeah. Um, who dug up most of the garden for me as fast as I was planting it. <laughs> and I think we do, we will have a far more structured approach next year to our garden. That's what we said last year, I know. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> the dogs didn't get in the way of that. But um, no, we've got um, lots of lots of wild tomatoes. Um, yes, and a few, I mean, quite a few of the other ones are coming oh, in. Oh, yes, yes. The ones that we did plant, but the little cherry tomatoes that seem to self-seed everywhere. They grew in abundance. We have <laughs> loads of those. Um, we've got a few beetroot in the raised bed. Yeah, um, we're nearly coming to the end of those now, but most of those are, are finished. But we have got a few more. Yeah, and we've got some chilies. Yeah, and chilies are doing well. So, so uh, it's not been a complete write-off this year, but it wasn't as good as we were hoping for. But again, like we say, our plans did go a bit awry. <laughs> <laughs> in general Bulgarian news this week, we found out there's to be yet another election. Yeah, there's a general election going to be held on the 4th of October. I believe so, yes. And that will be the fourth one in two years, I yeah. think. So you could say it's not very settled at the moment. <laughs> um, but hopefully um, somebody will come through with a bit of majority or a decent coalition. Um, we'll let you know if and when we find out. <laughs> <laughs> and the last bit of news this week is... It was two of our boys' birthday this week. So happy birthday, Angus and David. One is 35, the other is 30. <laughs> but they were born on the same day, five years apart. Yeah, which was joyful. <laughs> yes. Uh, David's fifth birthday party is a day I won't forget quickly. <laughs> I'm just the night in me. Yeah, then a pat party, bouncy castle party with 20-odd children. Yeah. <laughs> All part of I got out of it. I was still in the hospital. Yeah. Did it on purpose. I'm sure she did. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's about all our news for this week. Yeah, until next week. Just leaves us to say... Doskoro. Doskoro. Stay safe. Stay well. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see what comes as well.
Adam talks to himself a lot these days. <laughs> it's when I don't answer that I worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back. <laughs> Think what you're going to say before you say it. Oh, okay, that'd be a good idea. And then you're going to say, like an idiot. Oh, okay. <laughs>